Brewery. Look at that day outside. What the hell am I brewing for? Ah, four days off, four days of sun. I need to brew at least once. My first time back in the brewery in a while. I've got one free fermenter, two free fermenter, three free fermenter. No beer. Today I'm coming back to an old chappy. And I reviewed this before, was not happy with it, went out and bought myself some FTC 1000s and yeah, contacted Inkbird, gave them a bad review. No, not bad, but I think it was just a faulty device. So they sent me a free Inkbird and said, please, please test and please correct your review if it works. So today I'm going to test it. First time I've had time in months to do this. So upon opening the box, you have your plug and play temperature controller. This is the ITC308. You have an Inkbird sharing to win a free Inkbird. Hi, I'm sharing. I'm sharing. Ah. And the Inkbird device. This is the Inkbird. And this is your cooling and heating. Yeah, nice stainless steel. Nice stainless steel temperature probe, I think. So there she is. Look what a beautiful day that is. In the park. Lovely day. Eh? Lovely day. So, I'm going to power this guy up. ITC is plugged in. Induction is plugged into the heating. I'll get onto the cooling later. And turn her on. So let's set this guy up. So while we're here, uh, another Inkbird piece of kit. This is a thermometer. I have melted my last two. Uh, snapped one of the cables off. So I had to get a new one. It was on Amazon to find this guy. This is the Inkbird Barbecue to Go IBT 2X. So it has such features as temperature range, alarm for over temperature, display LED, and app. Probe up to two probes. I think I ordered the double two. I ordered two probes. Not sure. Wireless range. Okay, let's go with wireless. Probably Bluetooth, but. Oh, maybe it's... Oh, I'm going to have to open it and see what it says. Uh, batteries not included. Boo! Uh, and warranty one year. So let's crack it open and see what we've got. So again, once you open it, very nice packaging. We have here our temperature probe. Stainless steel. And I'm not sure if this is stainless steel. I don't think so. But uh, yeah, it's just the probe we want to put in. We don't want to fully submerge the probe. Just the tip. Or you'll get weird readings. Um... What else? Yeah, one of those barbecue clips, not interested in that. And here it ends. So we've got our... Yeah, let's get this stuff unwrapped and then I'll get back. So I have to say, it's very nice. Temperature. No more cables getting dragged behind you. Snapping off. And if it does snap, I've got two, baby. I've got two. The tip is protected. Which is, I've never seen that one I bought from the brew shop. This is the screen. Can't see anything, but it must be touchscreen, I guess, because there's no buttons and battery. So let's get these two guys in, power her up. So boom, she's powered up. 24 degrees. Nice and warm here. So I'm going to use this during my brew day because I want to a check that temperature and b check those temperatures which means C, I should calibrate this, but I'm not gonna do that today because I haven't even weighed up my grains yet for the brew day. But I'm just gonna whop her in. I see, oh, there it is, this is a button. <laughs> it's a button. Put in the battery, get to know your device. Two probe sockets, okay. So that means you can measure two things at once. Why would you do that? This device, Provides two sockets for probes, which enable you to monitor two items at the same time. If you need another probe besides the one in standard, okay. 
So I guess that was, there's a little one on here, which probably means probe one. If I plug in probe two, then you can probably toggle between the two temperatures. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Um, oh, wow. You can pair this with your phone. Install the probes. Is there an app or something? Download the app. Oh, I'm going to download the app and see what it does. I can't really show you what it does because it's on my phone. But exciting stuff. Bluetooth indicator. I don't really care about this today, but yeah, awesome little device. Wasn't that expensive, I think 24 euros. And uh, that was with two temperature probes. So, I'm going to go back to my Rudy. Little STC, or little STC, little Linkford there is. Oh, not having to do much, but so far so good. Well, I don't know if it's a coincidence or it was fate. But the ink bird is going to have to work today. One of my SSRs has just fizzled up and died. Smoke pouring out of the brew cabinet, so he's out of order. So I'm going to take here's the temperature transducer. I'm going to put the temperature transducer into here. The pump is just running now off the mains. And I'm going to use the induction plate to control it. Really, I uh, can't believe it just burned out. Just have a little bit. No. As you can see, he's a little bit burned out. So I'm going to quickly replace him. Hopefully, get this panel back online by the end of the day. But until then, Mr. Uh, Inkbird ICT God knows what, you're going to be a mass controller today. Proper test. Okay, let's get it hooked up. I really gotta get my uh, cable sorted. I pulled him out first before I disconnect you from the main and just shock myself. For fuck's sake. Yeah, you can see he is dulled. This one looks fine. So I'll quick whap him out and uh, slap on a new one. The ink bird did a good job to keep me where I was, I have to admit. Uh, couldn't have done that without it but panel's back in action 20 minutes repaired the uh, SSR and now it's come from the protein rest up to 65.5 but this video is not a brew video this video is all about this little guy here and it was nice because not having their drinking now normally that would have just kept on kept on kept on going and yeah I had an alarm at 64 and then it's now reading 69 and it just shut off the induction plate so I'm very happy with that. I don't know if it's got the cooling function yet, yeah, cooling is on. So I'm curious now if I unplug the inductor, the induction and put it in the cooling will it turn back on. So as you can see it's now cooling so I think the device that I reviewed last time and I'm very sorry Inkford, but it was a faulty device. And now it's working nicely, it's on cooling mode, it's plugged into cooling. Induction heater is on. Now, it's a good wee device. I think I'll be using this a lot more. 20 minutes. SSR replacement. Champion. Champion. That's why you should never let somebody else build your control panel. Build it yourself. Do the research. And you can fix it on the spot, on the day. Boom. Happy days. So guys, that concludes my day in Cotton Brewery. Inkbird has performed very well. It saved me in a very tight position. The Inkbird thermometer also, it needs calibrated. It's two degrees higher than it should be, but I'm going to enjoy playing with the features that it has, the wireless features, the fact that you can track your temperature while you're in another room in the house. You know what's going on with your brew system, so that's pretty good. Uh, I would like to apologize that I haven't put out videos in a little while. It's a uh, a time of transition, shall we say. I've changed jobs, uh, some other aspects of my life have changed and I've just been, yeah, missing passion in my life. And yeah, today the sun is shining and it's starting to feel good. But trust me, I've been taking videos, I've got some super videos coming out in the next couple of weeks 
how to tap from your keyser without a Blickman beer gun. That's really a nice video. Nice system, invented by some Lithuanian uh, inventor. Um, and yeah, there's the test. Uh, that one did the test. I drank the test. But it was so much editing. I mean, like eight hours of videos, and I'm down to about 56 minutes now. And I know you guys have not got the patience for that, or maybe you do, but some of you don't. So I want to try to compact it even further, try to get down to at least 40 minutes, but it's, it's a video composed over six months. So a lot of video footage, and I'm editing it and editing it and editing it, and I decided, you know what, frig that video, just start making some shorter videos, just say hello to you guys for a little while. It's been a while, and I'm, I'm sorry I, I missed you also. So, Cotton Brewery is back. The days are getting brighter. Everything's getting brighter. Well, get yourself a beer and enjoy it. Cheers.